let nothing go to waste. These are looking fantastic. We grew potatoes in hanging baskets. Let's take a look at the process and the results. Guten yardening, everybody. Now, viewers have suggested to us on multiple occasions that in the containers where we're growing our potatoes, maybe one of the things we should try is to double layer the potatoes so that we can get more out of the space that we have. So we're not just getting from one layer, we're getting basically double the number of plants and hopefully double the number of potatoes from one growing space. One of the challenges that comes with that though is if you're planting a set of seed potatoes first at a lower layer, letting them sprout a little bit, then adding soil, then adding a second layer, you're actually getting a different timing for the first set of potatoes and the second set of potatoes. So they're imbalanced in that way. You're not gonna get the harvest at the same time, or if you do, you're not going to have the same type of maturity from both plants. The other piece of that is, and I suppose this is another option, you could go really low with one set of seed potatoes, go ahead and cover it with soil, and then add the second set of seed potatoes on top. But then you're not really sure of how much of that is going to sprout, if you're going to have any problems with the seed potatoes. And so I think what we've come up with is a solution to that problem. But what we've done is we've planted our first layer of potatoes in here. And you can see we've allowed those potatoes to sprout. They've sprouted to the point where we have about five or six inches worth of growth. They're at a point where we could start here in the next couple of days, adding some soil to them as they get taller. What we've also done is we started some seed potatoes in these little pots at the exact same time as we planted those in our hanging baskets. So what that means is that these are ready to go into the hanging basket. Remember, we left enough space in that hanging basket for a second layer. We would just offset the location and they're at the same level or at least very close to the same level of maturity. And one of the other things I wanna show you, and I think this is pretty important, these two seed potatoes were planted at exactly the same time. And you can see the difference in growth, perhaps even the difference in the quality of the seed potato. And so by starting these without putting them over into our hanging baskets already, by starting these on their own, we can pick and choose which ones are the best looking. We don't have to worry about pulling something out or worrying if they're going to do well. Instead, we have multiple plants that are really thriving in here, and these are the ones that we're going to select to put into that second layer. These are yellow fin potatoes. They're really nice and tall now. They definitely need to be transplanted into these hanging baskets. Now, one of the things you're probably gonna notice here is that we're really pushing the limits of the size of this basket. This is a 20 inch basket and still, I mean, there's a little bit, I would say there's probably eight inches, maybe nine inches worth of depth here at its deepest point. So yes, we're pressing the limits here, but we're also creating something that's highly mobile. So even though we're likely not going to move this indoors if the weather gets too cold, you know, if we're too late in the season, what we have is that ability to move this if necessary. Now, even if I wasn't planning to transplant and put more potatoes in here, that second layer, now would be the time where I'd come in and I'd layer up my soil anyway. But now's the perfect time to bring in these transplants. And you'll notice that the roots are starting to come out through the bottom here. And I'm gonna go ahead and empty this out. I'm gonna do it gently. I don't wanna cause any damage. Look at this. So, so we're root bound right now. You can see that. So the seed potatoes right in here. And this right here, this spot, this is the stolen. This is where our potatoes will grow off of. This one in particular, and I'm sure there's plenty more in here. So look around slowly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this up just a little bit, just like you would any other kind of transplant. Just open these roots up to allow them to spread out and continue that growth process. I'm gonna mess with it too much because this is, soil is pretty loose. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna place it off to the side here. And now you notice we have multiple levels of growth. So these are tall enough that they'll continue to grow upward even as I cover some of the stem here. And I'll have to do the same thing here. I'll have to cover a little bit higher. So what this is going to do is this is going to create a mounded effect in our hanging basket. Now, as always, whenever I transplant these potatoes or I'm ready to feed these potatoes, I'm just gonna add a little bit of my bone meal Langbionite and mycorrhizal mix to help with the root development and overall plant development. And I'm gonna go ahead and add my potting mix around here. And you'll see what that looks like after I've filled everything up. All right, I've gone ahead and I've added my recycled soil. This is just soil that I've gone through and fertilized, soil that we had used in the past. 
and I'll need to water to get some of the dirt off the leaves here, but our soil isn't perfectly level. We've got a mounding effect on a couple of the sides, and as these grow taller, then we'll continue to add soil the rest of the way. Now I wanna stress again that this basket is pretty heavy, and it's only because of our setup where we have much stronger shepherd's hooks just out of these U-posts uh, that we're actually able to hold this kind of weight here. And we'll be able to hold it once we add the last of our potting mix. If you have extra potatoes, don't just throw them out. There's no reason to just throw them out. Throw them in one of these containers and get them started because not every single potato will come up. And that's just the reality when you plant potatoes. And so if you have one that you have to pull out that goes bad, then you can just replace it with one of these. Now, this is an example of a potato that did nothing. This is one of our, again, yellow fin potatoes. And I'm gonna show you what happened to the potato inside. Instead of developing any kind of roots at all, and I don't wanna waste any of this soil. So I'm gonna show you this over top of the basket. Here's what happened. Instead of any growth, we just have a rotted potato. So again, not every single one of these potatoes is going to grow to maturity. And so if you do what we've done and start your potatoes this way, then you're gonna know which ones are actually going to grow and develop. And that way we're not wasting time and we're definitely not wasting any space. And for this basket in particular, as the smaller plants develop and grow up, again, we'll continue to add more soil, but we've got these covered nicely. Now I have two more baskets that I have to complete. Now, as I finish up over here, adding this soilless mix, one of the things I wanna point out is that our hope is to be able to plant our potatoes all season long. And so we're removing that weight for them to pop through the soil, those two to three weeks for the new growth to start by doing it this way. So we're able to plant throughout the season instead of just planting early on. And hopefully that means that we get potatoes for quite some time. Right, I'm going to get these watered and we'll check back in on them in a couple of weeks. And this is an October 10th update of our hanging basket potatoes. You can see they're reaching over to the sides. That's one of the things that we thought would happen with this because there's really no support around here. So as they get bigger, they're just going to start to hang down. But they're really nice and green at this point. Actually, each of the baskets are doing pretty much the same thing. It looks like a couple of our pieces here that were coming out, our shoots, are actually eaten off somehow, or, well, I'm not sure. Yeah, it looks like something's come along and, and eaten the greens here, so I'm not sure what that means for overall production. Now, here are our other two, and one thing I will say is this basket in particular, we let dry out, I think, maybe a little too much early on. So even though the greens are dying back, I'm not 100% confident that there's a whole lot going on in here. I don't know if that's necessarily a symptom of age because we're not quite to that point yet. But the one up here seems to be faring a lot better than the other, I think. So I think the next update is gonna be right around harvest time. Now, one of the additional benefits of growing in these hanging baskets is that we've had a couple of days. I mean, we're middle November here in zone five. We had a couple of days that were so cold that well, this would have been really, really bad for these potatoes. So I just brought them into our garage and then you can take them back out once the temperatures warm up during the day. All right, I'm just gonna pull this hanging part off to the side and we're going to dump this, oh, there we go. We're gonna dump it out and we see what's inside just like so. Oh, by the way, we have burlap underneath this and then we have a food safe plastic on top and we drilled holes, hopefully you can see them here. We drilled holes in here for drainage. So that's what our container has. Now these are yellowfin potatoes. Our yellowfin so far this year, except in our roost out, weren't all that big. But let's see what we've got growing here in our multi-layered hanging baskets. Well, already I'm seeing some decent, si oh, look at this. I'm seeing some decent sized yellow fin potatoes coming out of here. All right. Well, that's not too shabby. Again, this is a late season harvest. So mid November zone five, that's not a very common harvest time in my opinion, but because we were growing these in our hanging baskets and they're just now at a point where we're ready to harvest, we're in good shape. 
Now these look like a couple of little fingerling potatoes that we added at the top. Again, late season. Let's see what else is in here. And these were extra yellow fins that we had that would have, well, the seed potatoes themselves wouldn't have been used at all if we hadn't thought of putting them in these hanging baskets. So I would say right now, let nothing go to waste. These are looking fantastic. Now the depth of this hanging basket is about seven or eight inches total. You can see the root structure of these, not exactly massive, I would say, but as we get to that one or two inches down now, we're seeing that layer of yellow fins. Again, looking really nice. So if you have a hanging basket around and you wanna try your hand at potatoes, this might be the way to go for you, especially if you have very limited growing space. I mean, we're getting some pretty nice potatoes out of this first one. Well, I'm well pleased anyway. There we go, there's some more. Now, again, the ones that I'm finding here at the end, those are in that first two inches of growing. And so we did multi-layer them, and I would say the results are still pretty good. Now, I don't think anyone would argue that any of these are particularly massive, but this is a good size, especially considering, well, again, the size of what we're growing in. This I will take any day of the week. Let's go ahead and see what are in the others. You know, I'm just thinking about how awesome this would be if I was trying to grow on a balcony. Oh, I just spilled potatoes everywhere. Look at this. There are potatoes coming out of this left and right. Let's go ahead and gather up what just popped out of the bag when I turned it upside down so you can see the quantity that we're talking about here. That's not bad. When it pops out like that, we're in good shape. But one of the things I noticed here is, I said, it's late season. We've had some nights in the 20s now, and you can sort of see some of the damage here. Now, there seems to be some potato scab, but I can tell, you see the skin peeling away here? I can tell that we're gonna need to eat these pretty quickly, but that's okay because, well, they're gonna be delicious anyway. All right, let's open this one up, and I'm gonna go to these lower layers here there's our seed potato right there at the bottom. So let's see how far down we have to go before we start seeing potatoes. All right, right here, which is probably about two and a half, maybe three inches from the bottom of this hanging basket. And here again, we're seeing these potatoes. Oh, look at that. That is a nice size potato right there. So we're seeing these potatoes pretty low down, which was our goal. We wanted to have it the whole way through, the whole depth of our container. We wanted to have these potatoes coming in. Yeah, that's what we're seeing right here. That's pretty good. That multi-layering is something that's going to be really beneficial. The size of these does not bother me one bit. These are basically nice bites of potatoes. So these will be fantastic if we roast them. They'll be fantastic steamed. 100%. Just think about all the possibilities if you're able to grow potatoes in your own hanging baskets. Think about what you could do. Remember, the potatoes have a really nice flower on top too mid-season, so they could be pretty nice and decorative. I think this is a pretty comparable basket to our first one. One of the other things we're seeking to prove in these videos, and in this video in particular, is anybody can grow potatoes. All right, for this one, I'm actually gonna turn it right back over so you can see what I just saw. You can see them all just popping out, ready to be harvested, even here at the top. Take a look at this. And they look just so nice and fresh and healthy. Now this was a 14 inch hanging basket and I don't know if that's gonna make a huge difference. I guess that'll be kind of interesting to see as well as I'm trying to pull all these that are falling all over the place to see if there's a substantial difference in that diameter. Now this is the only container that had some green life left in the stems. I don't know why that is, planted at the same time as everything else. Let's see if that made a difference in this size. And I'm gonna clear off this little cap, we'll call it right here. And let's see, oh, oh some nice size in this one for sure. Again, I don't know if it's going to be consistent throughout, but we're seeing some depth. Oh yeah, this looks fantastic. These are just, again, perfect potatoes, especially given how late in the season it is. You know, most of our other potato harvests have been done for well over a month. So now if you live in an area with very little room and you want the joy of digging for treasure, 
digging for these potato treasures, this might be, again, the way to go for you. There is nothing like the taste of garden fresh potatoes. It is a world of difference from store-bought potatoes. <laughs> Here we go. Again, some more of those fingerlings that we had at the very end that we just added. We'll take some fingerling potatoes. All right, I'm gonna gather up the last little pieces here and we'll put this all together and I'll show you what we just harvested. Now from all of our hanging baskets, one thing I would say we definitely had was a pretty clear and consistent average size, somewhere around, let's say maybe three ounces. That is a nice potato. Yeah, there are plenty of smaller ones too, but we had some great growth in here. And that last basket I harvested looks absolutely fantastic. Our total final weight for everything was 4.2 pounds. Well, we are very happy with those results. If you have some extra soil, some spent soil just lying around, and you have some extra seed potatoes, then why not take the opportunity to plant in some hanging baskets? You might be very pleased with your results. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like, leave us a comment, remember to share and subscribe, and most importantly, remember, when you're with us, you are good to grow.